as we have already completed the hands on for conditionals now we are ready to learn about logical operators with that real life example so let's get started Hello coders this is Neha from Webstack welcome to the 11th episode of JavaScript series so before getting started if you are new here make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video so talking about operators we have basically three types of logical operators here uh, that is simply called not as well as or and one is called and so these are basically three types of logical operators that we are going to discuss today in this video so let's see about them one by one so if i talk about and operator it simply means uh, that you need both the things let's say for an example if you ask for a cookie and milk so you need both at the same time so if anyone is not available either it's cookie or it's milk either of its value is false the resultant value will also be false because you need both and you are putting an and condition there so that is an example for and and if i talk about or so if you just want a cookie or milk then you can apply this logical or operation and any one of them if it is true your result will automatically be coming as true so in and condition it is actually represented by this double ampersand and if any any one value is uh, just false it will automatically return false and if the first value is false by any chance then it doesn't check and it doesn't go for the second value because in the first value only it is getting the false and answer will equate to actually false that is why because of this property it is also known as short circuit and which which is actually a shorthand that we use for this operator so it is also known as short circuit and now talking about or operator it is actually represented by this uh, double parallel lines and also it also means that if either value is true then it will automatically give you the value or the final result as true only so this is also known as short circuit or because if your first value equates to true you don't need to check any other value in that or conditions because no matter whether whether it is true or false it will always result as true that in that case it is called as short circuit or so let's move on check these both and and or with the help of some examples so the application which we have taken in the last video for conditionals we will take the same application and we will be doing it now with the logical operators so in case you haven't watched that video so i'll provide the link in the description box below you can just go and watch that video first so that you get a perfect explanation of this application so in that movie ticket booking system we were having some variables like is logged in so i'm just creating it again so i'll write here true for the time being and then i can write the role of the user who is getting logged in so for now i can take the role as admin and also i'll take one more parameter here that will be actually the age of that user so i'll take the age as well let's say it's 20 or something in this application now i want to check if my user is logged in and the role is admin so i'll just check here if is logged in if it is true and if the role is equals to equals to or you can also write triple equals to as we have already discussed it so if the role is admin and then i'll simply write here console.log and here we will be writing hello admin and we can write one more console statement here uh, saying that 
hello admin you can add new movies and all that stuff so i'm just taking movies here so if the user is logged in and role is admin then it will do this stuff but if it is like if the user is not logged in or the role is not admin so obviously it will move out here i will be writing a else if statement here so i'll write is logged in and if the role is equals to simply user so automatically it will simply say console.log and let's say hi user and then we will try to print one more thing here one more statement whoops a mistake yeah so now here i'll be writing you can book tickets so let's say i want to add one more condition here so i will be simply writing an and statement again so i want to check the age of user as well so if age is greater than 18 then only he can just book these tickets so after that i'll write if any one of these rules don't follow then i can simply say you are not logged in or you can contact your administrator or anything else you want to print here so i'll write contact your admin so now if i save it and i check this it is saying hello admin you can add new movies so if i say this logged in as false so automatically it will say contact your admin and if this role is user and logged in is true then automatically it will go to this else if part and it will say hi user you can book ticket so let's try to change the age as well so if i give the age as 15 still it is saying contact your admin let's see one more thing here for or operator so i'll write one more condition here now let me check here one more condition and we will see how we can use that or operator so i will be writing here if the role let's say if the role is equals to if it is user or the role is equals to equals to let's say guess they are simply just browsing in our website without getting logged in so i'm just using triple equals to here and here i'll print some statement so let's say welcome to movie so now let's say if the role is not admin it is actually user and age is also less than 15 is logged in as though it is true but it will not match this condition anyhow so it will jump to this condition and it will check if the role is user or the role is guest it will always move to this block and it will print welcome to movie booking and if let's say i change the role as guest so a guest is coming and there is no value for logged in so you can say it is simply giving me a welcome message that welcome to movie booking now we are left with one more operator if you remember that it is not so not operator is really useful when when it is coming to some authentication or some uh, reverse logic if you want to apply so you can directly use this uh, exclamation mark which stands for the not operator and if i simply write here if not is logged in so it will actually convert this false value into true and if the value here is true it will actually convert it into false so it is now checking if user is not logged in but role is admin <laughs> that is actually not making sense but still i want to show you something so it is telling me to contact your administrator so if is logged in is false and your role equals to admin then only it will work so if i write here false you can see it will say hello admin you can add new movies but if i write here true so actually this value is returning this complete value with negation it is returning me false so if anyhow one statement inside this and is false then automatically the total result will also be false so that is why it is giving me 
this else statement that is contact your admin so that's it for this video guys i hope you got the concept of logical operators and if you do please give the thumbs up and do share the video with all your friends i will see you in the next video